So as you can see here, the um, front of the turbo and everything's off, the charge pipe, um, and there's a reason for this. This is because the old exhaust gasket here, as you can see, has been leaking away. Um, it's got quite the annoying exhaust leak. So when I redid the studs and the nuts, it obviously didn't quite seal up or yeah, I'm not sure what's gone wrong there, um, or it's not flat. But we've got another gasket to go on. Um, this one's a whole lot thicker and hopefully a bit nicer, so hopefully that'll sort the issue. So yeah, just strip it down and give it a go. So I've got it all sitting back in the car, uh, it's all bolted up, just need to put the raining pipes on. Um, so what I've gone and done is actually installed a new gasket there. Um, I had some spare studs and bolts that I bought a while ago, so replaced those while I was at it. Um, they were new ones already before, but might as well use the ones that are even newer. Um, so they're all done. Um, I always do have issues with the wastegate not quite sealing properly because of course this is all, it's all hard mounted um, because there's no flex in, in the pipe, it's kind of short so it doesn't really get a flexy. Um, yeah, it always ends up being either leaking or not leaking. So we'll see when we start it up what it's like. Um, but yeah, all the lines are on. Um, should, should be good to go actually use a um, 20 valve um, steel gasket, manifold gasket um, and I end up chopping, chopping, can you see it? So I have to chop it a bit to make it fit because the 20 valves are a little bit different um, but the rest of the ports will match and that way it's a lot easier for now by taking it off and on all the time um, wouldn't be able to do that otherwise but yeah, 